So I'm back. You had me last night and you've got me again tonight, but I'm all by myself tonight. Bernie has abandoned me um, and she's off teaching our store in Newton Acliff. So it's just me for the next um, couple of hours. Keep me company, leave some comments. Um, I've got my phone with me so I can check the comments and see who's watching. And if I can get my multitasking head on, then I can uh, reply to you, fingers crossed. So we've got loads of fantastic deals tonight, loads and loads and loads. It's our cartload show, and this is um, just loads of deals, fantastic deals. We have got the Lewis and Irene Michaelmas fabric, so we're going to have a little look at these first off. We've got a saving of 20% on these. So it's £5.50 or $7.50 for a half metre. Um, if you're in the US, a half metre is a little bit bigger than a half yard. So it, well, it's just about an inch or so bigger than a, than a half yard. You get a little bit extra for playing with. And it's fantastic fabric. It's really, really gorgeous. 20% off that one. We have the Threaders Snap Fastener Toolkit. This is Lizzie's favorite product. She absolutely adores this thing. And um, she, I think she probably has used the Snap Fastener Toolkit to shut her other half, John's mouth, every now and again when he's annoying her. I think that's why she likes it. So that is half price. It's a fantastic saving, $14.99 or $19.99 in US dollars. We have the Threaders Quilt As You Go Fabricate Collection. That's a mouthful, isn't it? You've got three Quilt As You Go Fabricates, the Mug Cozy Coasters and the Mug Rug, or um, like a big coaster. Each has got everything that you need to make those projects. You're saving 45% on that. That's £24, $34 for all three kits. It's really, really good value, that one. We have the Gemini Multimedia Bag Making Dies, and also, as well as though, we've, we've got the Tab and Tag sets. So we've got six different sets, um, loads of different bags. I'm gonna show you those in a little while. They are $24.99 or $34.95 in US dollars, and you buy one, get one free, so really, really good value. Um, the next up is, these are my favorite. I'm gonna demo these a little bit later on. These are the Threaders Embroidery Kits. Now you get all three kits, three embroidery, can't speak, three embroidery kits for $12.99 or $16.95 in US dollars. That saving is over 65%. It's a massive, massive saving. And um, they're really, really lovely. You get everything you need to make those little embroidery things. So I'm gonna demo that in a little while. Um, just chill out and have a little bit of stitching because why not, it's the evening. You can shop whilst you're watching. You can either um, do that directly from the website itself and you can also watch, you can watch me, you can see my face. Look, I'm smiling, I'm happy. See, last night I realized that I don't smile as much as I think I do, um, but I am happy inside. My face doesn't show it. But um, you can shop from the website and also watch on the website, or you can shop directly from our Facebook page. So if you're watching on Facebook, you can just click through um, on any of the websites and you'll stay with us from there. So what should we look at first? We have got the Lewis and Irene fabric. Now, if you are not familiar with Lewis and Irene, um, let me just drag them in without standing up. If you're not familiar with the Lewis and Irene fabrics, um, Lewis and Irene is a British company. They are British designed. Um, they are really great quality cotton fabrics, you know, designer quilting cotton fabrics. And this collection, the Michaelmas collection, uh, is, I like this because it's kind of a little bit muted. You know, it's, um, you've got really, really gorgeous, soft, um, kind of autumny, but not, it's not brown, which, um, br brown is lovely, I like brown, but this has got, you know, like a, a nice autumny red, um, really gorgeous, is that like a French navy? It's not a proper navy, it's, it's a, it's a nice kind of mid navy blue, um, 
really lovely colours, really lovely designs and also, I don't know if we can catch it on the camera, but there's like a little bit of sparkle in there as well, um, which is really nice. So it's like a, just a tiny metallic detail, not too much metallic, um, but there is a little bit on, on most of them. So we have, let's get them out and have a little look. Do you know what I like about these? I think the, the, the size of the prints is, is really, really useful. So they are like a nice kind of not too large print. They, do you know what they remind me of? They remind me a little bit of William Morris. They've got that kind of um, arts and crafts feel to them and the colours as well. My mum would like these. So I'm not going to make her a quilt because I made her a quilt once before and she's not getting another one. So these ones are... Um, it's kind of a, it's a floral design, but it's a bit like a, like a thistly type of thing. It's 20% off of these. So they are $6.99 or $9.99, um, depending on whether you are pounds or US dollars, saving 20%. It's a really good saving. And they are, they are like I say, they're, they're really very gorgeous. I'd quite like to have these as curtains, you know, behind me. We need some new curtains. But that'd be nice, wouldn't it? But they're um, so there's a little bit of metallic in in both of these ones, in the kind of thistly flower, and then in this ditzy floral, which reminds reminds me of dresses that I used to have when I was little. All I ever wanted when I was a child was a pink dress. I never got a pink dress. I only ever had like kind of bottle green and navy. Thanks, Mum. My mum used to make my clothes. She would have liked that one. I'd have had a dress in that. That would have been my party dress. Never a pink one. Um, there's not a metallic in this little ditzy floral, but there is in this one. This one's nice. Look at that. That's a lovely one, that. And that one is, the, the print runs in both ways. So uh, it doesn't matter if it's like upside down because it isn't upside down. It's the same. So here's the main print. Now this really, this does have kind of a, like a, it's a modern take on a William Morris, I think. That's, that's what it reminds me of anyway. And the, the, like the metallic, it's kind of like a, it's almost pearlescent. Um, and that runs all the way through this. So you've got little bits on the tiny birdies and on the flowers, on the leaves, there's, there's a lot. You get a lot of, um, of metallic detail in these fabrics there. You know, sometimes you get, you can get fabrics that have got a metallic detail in and it's it kind of, it's a bit scrimpy. You don't get that much. See, I, I can see myself in the monitor and I'm looking grumpy again. I'm happy, look at me smiling. <laughs> but these are really, really good. This one's nice, isn't it? Look at that. That's a kind of a tealy green, um, but nice. Not not too bright. I don't know if we can if you can see it properly on your um, on your screens or on your monitors, but it's uh, it's a really nice. Not not a mint green, not a teal, not an aqua, somewhere in between. That's a terrible description, Katie. Uh, and that's your your main print again, but in the like mid blue, which is beautiful, and this this kind of reads as a as a red, but it's more of it's more of kind of a um, a rusty a rusty brown. Really lovely. Then we've got another floral. This would definitely be an address that my mum would have made me. I quite like it now. I'd, in fact, I've got a dress in a print a lot like that. I wear when I go out, which is not very often. Mostly I just wear it around the house. Um, and then there's this little ditzy floral, which is, this one has the tiniest little flecks of metallic. So it just kind of, just kind of catches the light a little bit, um, but is not too much and too in your face. And then exactly the same with this beautiful little floral. And again, that's got your, your little bits of sparkle in. So there's, there's just enough, just enough sparkle in those. Um, 
to be pretty, but not so much that it looks a little bit tacky, because sometimes it can. So what I think goes fantastically with these colours, well, it's like, it's like we chose them and we, and we planned ahead, isn't it? And we've got the Threaders Strap Webbing. So the strap webbing is uh, for, for, I mean, you could make belts out of it, um, but generally we, we say it's for bag making. So we use it for making um, bag straps. And it adds, we were talking a little bit about this yesterday because it came in, in one of the goodie bags that we were on yesterday. Um, it adds like a little bit of a professional finish to any of your bag making. And um, if you don't really enjoy making the straps, because I think the straps are the fiddliest part of making a bag, you know, because you've got to make a long, make a long strip and then fold it and then interface it. And then, you know, it, there's a lot of, a lot of faffing about use this. Um, these are buy one get one free. Bargain. So you can choose your beautiful colours and they all they all match actually they match perfectly. Um, the there's brown, there's black, there's like a soft kind of a dove grey. It's called soft grey but it's kind of like a little dove. And a um, royal blue. And it is actually called royal blue. It is. Well done Katie. So those also Let's have a little look at our bag making dies. So we've got all of these here. Watch me knock them over. I'm not gonna knock them over. These are the Gemini Multimedia bag making dies. Now, as you can see here, they are kind of half a bag. Can you see? These are also, um, yes, they are buy one, get one free. So these are $24.99, $34.95 in US dollars, and they are buy one, get one free. Now when you look, it is a little bit confusing at first. I remember the first time that I saw these, I thought, oh, I don't understand how they work. But what you do is a little bit like when you have a bag pattern, and you've got the template, and you lay this, whatever shape it is here, so we've got like the, um, the flap or your main body of your bag, you lay that on the fold. We've got like full video online. If you go to the product pages, you can see them. Um, there's really, really fantastic videos. It, it talks you through the whole process of how to make the bags, but they cut through your fabric, obviously. They also cut through your wadding or your interfacing, or if you like that um, foam interfacing. I like that for bags because it gives a little bit of structure. Um, it cuts through that, it cuts through anything. Faux leather, cork, alligator skin. But they are, they're great. So we've got the different, the different bags. We have the round clutch bag. Now, this also comes with this that looks a little bit like a piano key, but it is a tassel. So you cut out from your fabric um, this works really, really well in like our faux leathers or something like that. And you can make yourself a little tassel for, to hang off your bag or you can make key rings. Um, but that one is great. That is definitely one of our popular ones that apparently is, uh, that's going really well tonight. We also have the scallop clutch bag um, and that's got the flower set. So this little die here and this one is not a knuckle duster. I know it looks like one, but it's not a knuckle duster. That is, maybe if you've got very small fingers, you can wear it as one. But that is a die to cut out some petal shapes that make, when you roll it up, it makes a little flower. So you've got two different sizes, which is really cute, isn't it? So you could also use that to make little brooches or um, like a little hair thing. You can add, add that to whatever you like. Two more of the bag making set, we've got the tote clutch bag, tote clutch bag, and that comes with a bow. So this, um, this here, where's my camera gone? Oh, there it is, it's right in front of me. This that looks a little bit like a goldfish will make a bow. So again, you cut on the fold um, and this edge doesn't cut, it's, a, it's flat, so that cuts on the fold 
and you get these really cool little bow shapes. That's that one. And finally, wrong way around, we have the hobo bag and flower set. So again, we've got three different flowers. They cut out um, the different flowers to make different. You can either layer them, you can, you, you can have them just as the single shapes. The, on the packaging photo, we've got like a little applique um, where it's been layered up, but you could you could do that and not applique them all the way down. You could just you know layer them, and you could add more layers. It'd be really nice in felt, you know, because they'd be that little bit thicker. So that is your hobo bag and flower set. Now, all of these bags are buy one get one free, and what you can also do with them is you can mix and match your your flaps and your except flaps is such a funny word isn't it uh, so you can also you can mix and match your accessory so you can put your tassel on any of the other bags you can if you like the shape of this one the shape of the um of the round clutch bag but you prefer the flap on the scallop well, you can mix and match. So you can cut out the base of this one and you can cut out the, the flap of this one and you can use the accessory of this one. You know, you can mix and match them all. And I was thinking as well, because sometimes I do think, sometimes, it's not very often, but occasionally my brain does work. And I was thinking you could also add straps to these bags because they don't come with straps. Um, and I am not very good at remembering to carry a bag in my hand. I need to have it like on a strap, a bit like you know when you're a child and you've got mittens on a piece of string. I am also a bit like that with gloves. Um, so the buy one get one free straps, why not just sew a little strap on? Why not also if we're talking about Lizzie's favourite um, the snap fastener toolkit, you could also add the snap fasteners to your strap and your bag and then you can you can remove it see look occasionally occasionally i have genius ideas so yeah do you know there's one of these which one is it this tote bag the bigger one here it's gonna fall over the this one so this is your is your your slightly bigger bag it's still not it's not huge it is um have a little look. Tell me somewhere. It's about 24 centimeters, I think. Finished bag. Bag size is 27.9 centimeters by 24 centimeters. So it's about 28, 28 centimeters or 11 inches um, tall. So that's quite a nice size for like a little child's backpack, I think. And that would be nice if you added some of the webbing just like simple straps, just add them to the back, top and bottom. So when you're sewing your flap on, you could add your strap at the top and then also at the bottom when you're sewing that together and just have it as a little backpack. See again, genius. Occasionally, occasionally she works her brain. So that's really good. So let's have a little, put that back, don't fall over. Well done. Let's have a little look at the um, Snap Fastener Toolkit. This is half price. This is one of those products that it just consistently sells really, really well. It is so useful and it's an absolute bargain. It's $14.99 or $19.99 in US dollars, half price. It is a really, really good saving. It, it's, it's such a fab little kit and you will use it again and again and again. I mean, Lizzie swears by it. So let's open it up and show you what you get. You get everything that you need to pop your little snap fasteners on. And they are these cool little colorful plastic ones. So you get all the different colors and you've got, you know, your like, your male and your female bits, um, your bits that stick out and your bits that stick in. And in all of the different colors, so we've got purple, got pink, red, a really nice kind of, it's like an olivey, browny, greeny 
goldy kind of color. It's a nice color that. Um, then black, yellow, green. That's a good color, lime green. And then a pastel blue and white. So you've pretty much, there's quite a lot of white as well. There's more white. Um, you get extra. There's pretty much any color that you are likely to need. And then all of your bits and pieces, all of your tools. So this um, this little beast is is the is the tool that you punch the your snap fasteners together. And it's one of those it is a it's one of those things that you kind of you know you need to just have a little bit of a practice on, but um, with a bit of you know a bit of strength, you can add snap fasteners to to anything and. This does all the work for you. It's, it's very, it's very, very easy. So let's get, out, get it out and we'll see what the actual tools are. So we've got all of the snap fasteners. We've got this, which is your pliers, apparently. Your, you've got two different adapters, a T3, a T, no, three different adapters, T3, T8, and T5. So the three different adapters. Um, and you've also got a bolt, your snap fastener caps, and your snap fastener studs and inserts, screwdriver, um, and there is also a pointy all needle thing. This is very sharp. So that's for like making a hole in your fabric. And then there's full instructions on how to put your snap fastener on and it is it is super easy and it's great you know we've we've got the bag making dies you can use it um, to add your fastenings for your for your bags you can use it to um, you could make oh you could make like a duvet cover if you bought some of the fabric we've got some more fabric coming up a bit later on as well um, you could make like really nice duvet covers and then just add your snap fastening across the bottom to uh, make it easy to get on and off. And then you don't have to sew any buttons because buttonholes will, uh, will be a little bit more of a, of a pain. So that is your half price. Half price. Absolutely brilliant value. That is really good, that. And, and you get the storage case as well. So there's no, you know, rooting about in your drawers trying to find these snap fasteners that you've chucked in there because you thought that you were going to put them somewhere safe because they'll be in there. Yeah. So next up, we have, if I can reach over and grab them, we have the um, multimedia dies. Now this is to go alongside your bag making dies. So you've got the um, tags and you've got the tabs. So this one here is your tab. So these are also buy one get one free. So they are $24.99 or $34.95, buy one get one free. Um, and as you can see, the tags you add a little bit, they've got a little hole at the top and you add a little bit of ribbon or a little bit of cord and you can make some like fun little tags to hang off your bag. Um, I have like a fancy one that I got from a fancy designer shop in the olden days when I was fancier than I am now. Um, that was very expensive but I could just make one myself. Do you know what I am also? I'm thinking that you could use these to make um, Christmas, you know, like hanging tags. This year I'm trying to, to not use shiny paper to wrap my presents. Originally I was going to get a load of fabric and I was going to wrap my presents, um, you know, knotting the fabric around it and so it looked really nice and pretty. But um, I, didn't, I didn't get around to doing that because I realized that I would end up spending probably about as much on fabric as I was going to on what was inside the presents. And then, um, so I thought, no, I'm going to get brown paper instead. But I need to get some tags. Um, and this would be, this would be great. I, what I could do with these, is I could cut out, because these are, these are 
the multimedia dies so that you don't need to just use them for fabric obviously this is a soft craft show and um, and we love a bit of fabric on the soft craft shows but you don't have to use fabric you can cut out cardboard you could cut out from like thin um, wood stuff like balsa wood whatever that craft wood is that um, that the people use you can cut through like tin you can cut through foam you can cut through cork you can cut through leather you can cut through faux leather you can cut through through any, anything that you can cut with a really good sharp pair of scissors you can cut with a multimedia die that's that's my um, non-scientific rule of thumb so you could cut the, cut these out maybe some felt or something and then if you used um, like a glitter paste or um, maybe embroidery or if you've got like a fancy stitch on your on your sewing machine you could either put somebody's name or you could put their initials and then you could use them again and again and again and again year in year out so the um, the tabs so they make like a little a bit like a key ring I've got one of these as well I've got a fancy one of these at home um, so this little bit at the top is flat and the flat bit doesn't cut so again you will cut on the fold a little bit like with the um, with the bags you cut on the fold and you get like a double-sided bit that you fold in half and you just you can just add like a, a d-ring or you could add a key ring like a what are those ones called the key ring ones those key ring ones um, or you could add some you you could just leave that, stitch it around, leave it at the top, and put some some ribbon in it as well. You could make, you could you could use these to make your your little Christmas decorations. You could you could do all sorts of things. You could like this is quite a nice little bauble shape, isn't it? And that's kind of um, a bit like a candle. So you could embroider a fancy design on those if you like embroidery. Um, do a little bit of a plique. You can do all sorts of things. I like these. I think I um, might have a play with those later when I get home. Maybe not tonight. It might be a bit late tonight. So those are also buy one get one free along with the bag making dies. And obviously they're great um, to go with the bag making dies, but they're also great standalone on their own. So if you head over to the website, you can shop all of the deals that we've got on there right now. And um, you can also shop directly from our Facebook page. So if you just have a little look, there's a little link there. Um, you can watch us. I say us. It's me. Me and my imaginary friends here. Um, you can watch here or you can watch. I have got a voice in my head. Thanks, Laura. It's you um, talking in my ear. And you can also watch from the website as well. So you can see either and obviously if you are a member of our club inspire um, and if you're not a member of club inspire sign up to club inspire because it's great you get all of your extra discounts on top of the deals that we've got today so um, find out a little bit more about club inspire from our sarah welcome to club inspire our free loyalty club as a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to silver membership, where you'll get 10% discount, plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points, you'll become a gold member, which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order, and will ship them to you completely free, no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery courier service. 
When you reach 1500 points, you'll become a Platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a Gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money-saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends, to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. We'll send you a completely free quarterly Digimag direct into your inbox giving you lots of hints, tips, inspiration, additional offers and some sneaky behind the scenes gossip from the team. So what are you waiting for? Become a member of our club today. So, welcome back. I'm still here. And look, I'm still smiling. I think I've got a question and I think that I know the answer without checking on the website, but, um, but if producer Laura can double check. So we've had a question, which of the Lewis and Irene fabrics is the hearts of latte one? And I think, am I right? Is it that one? It's that one. Um, yeah, this is the hearts of latte fabric. So there you go. So let's have a little look, see if, uh, see if we've got some questions. I'll grab my phone. Um, Let's have a little look. Oh, Melanie, hi Melanie. A bag, yes. You can make yourself, you can make yourself a lovely makeup bag and also that, um, the tote bag that you could add the straps on to make a little rucksack, that would be fantastic for your daughter. So who else have we got today? Butch Michelle, I've answered your question. Sue and Pariel, yes. They do look William Morris, don't they? They do. Um, so yes, hello to everyone. Hello, hello Geeta. She's back. You were here yesterday as well. Hi Melanie. Hi Kirsty. Hi. Hi everybody. Hi. So if you've got any questions, um, I will, hi Ramona. Hi Diane. I will keep checking in. I'll do my best to keep, I'll uh, do my best to re, to kind of keep up with that. So let's have a little look at the deals that we've got tonight. So we have the Lewis and Irene Michaelmas fabric. Um, it is so very William Morris. It's beautiful. It's a really nice collection. £5.50 or $7.50 for a half metre. So it's like a generous half yard. Um, if you remember that, it's a half yard with a bit of uh, wiggle room for us, Ameri for us Americans. I'm not American. For you American, for our American viewers. Saving 20%. So it's a really nice side in that. We also have the Threaders Snap Fastener Toolkit, Lizzie's favourite, um, everything that you need to get started and loads of different colours of snap fasteners and all in a really handy storage case for $14.99, $19.99 US dollars, half price is a massive saving, it's fantastic. The Threaders Quilt As You Go Fabric Kit Collection, you get three different kits these would make really good gifts you know for one of your crafty friends you could either if you really like them you could make them the actual finished product or if you um, like them a bit less you could not you know you could just give them the kit and they can make it themselves really nice 24 pounds 34 dollars saving 45 percent. so that's a great saving again Next up, we have the Gemini Multimedia Bag Making Dies Tab and Tag Sets. So you can choose from six different sets. Uh, the Tote Clutch Bag and Bow, Hobo Bag and Flowers, Round Clutch Bag and Tassel, Scallop Clutch Bag and Flower, the Bag Tab and the Bag Tag. That sounds like a Dr. Seuss book. That is $24.99 each or $34.95 in US dollars. Buy one, get one free. And like I said before, all of those bags and flaps and accessories are interchangeable so you can use the different flap and all the different base or the different accessory to make all sorts of different bags so you've got six different sets but the possibilities with those bags are endless oh this is my favorite the thread is embroidery kit so we this is a, a bundle three embroidery kits you've got um, the vintage trail we've got dreamcatcher and we've got the cat each one can 
is full of thread, we've got hoops, we've got fabric with a printed design on it and all the instructions. It is, it's a really nice little set. $12.99, $16.95 in US dollars. So that is saving over 65%. So that is what we are gonna have a little look at right now. It is, aren't they cute? Look at them. Nice little, you know, like a secret Santa. Do you have a secret Santa at work? Um, and if you've got a crafty friend, then also they're a really nice little kit. They're a good way to introduce somebody to, you know, to embroidery as well, because you know, not everyone, not everyone necessarily knows about embroidery. And these are, you know, you've got everything you need to get started in this. I'm gonna crack it open. So we can have a look because there is literally, you know, you just open and go. You even get your needle. I did just have a slight panic thinking, oh, do you get a needle? Because I've got a needle, but um, I don't have it here. I've got it outside of the studio. I just thought, oh, I was going to have to like, run off for a minute. I'll send Laura to get me one. So this is what you get inside your kit. You get the printed fabric. I'm going to get out the little cap design here. And that is printed on a nice, nice cotton fabric. And the, embro and the embroidery hoop, which you can pop your little cat in. So it's the perfect size of hoop. Do you know, you could you could make this um, and then either make it into a bigger project, you know, use, use this as a patch on, on a cushion, if you were gonna make like a patchwork cushion, um, or you could sew it onto a bag as a pocket, um, or you could just leave it in the hoop, you know, if you, once you've finished embroidering it, you could leave it in the hoop and uh, you know tidy up the back, put a little bit of ribbon on the on the top of it, and use it as a really nice little hanging wall decoration, couldn't you? That's cute. Oh, I do like that little cat. So you've got your threads as well. You've got loads of different thread in here, in all the different colours. There's, there's more thread than you actually need. you you know you'll. You've got plenty of thread and a nice needle with, oh, it's got a good size eye. Yes, which is good because I don't have good eyes. I'll just pop that in there so I don't lose it. And then there is a how to sew all your different embroidery, thread, um, embroidery stitches. So there's loads of different stitches there for you to try. Um, back stitch, straight stitch, blanket stitch, lazy daisy, chain stitch and French knot. I remember doing all of these with my nan when I was little. Um, and then if you turn it over, you've got even more. You've got bullion knot, um, the uh, coaching stitch, split stitch, fly stitch, satin stitch, and seed stitch as well. So loads of different ones. Um, and you can just find your thread. See, you know, and what you can do is is really you can follow you can follow kind of along with the picture. And if you have a look on the picture, you can see you know like where we've we've stitched a satin stitch like in the ears. But you could add, you can do what you like. The beauty of anything like this, I think, is that you can just kind of crack on and decide what you want to do and how you want to do it. Um, but I do like a bit of embroidery, so I'm going to do a little bit now. Take your thread. And what I tend to do every time, I'm going to get these scissors. We've got these today as well. We've got these, these on offer. The So Retro scissors. But these are on 25% um, 25, 25 off, I think. 11.95, 14.96. These are great scissors. I love these scissors. Um, I have these 
I got some of these as well when they first came in. So take a length of thread. Now, rule of thumb with any kind of hand sewing is forearm length. If you do any longer than a, than a forearm length, you run the risk of your thread getting tangled and knotting up and just getting in the way. So I just do a forearm length and that's plenty. Now you can, you don't have to, but you can then split your threads. So these are a six stranded embroidery thread. So a standard six stranded embroidery thread, which is a mouthful. Um, and quite frankly, I need a cup of tea. So that's why I can't speak. And, oh Bernie, I'd love a cup of tea. I really would actually love a cup of tea. Um, it's, it's past my cup of tea time. I should be I should be eating my tea and having a cup of tea with my tea. Which this is a question for you actually, because this is a question that I that has been posed in the office. Do you have a cup of tea with your tea? So in the north, what we say is your tea. You have your tea, your eating tea at dinner time, uh, that's your evening meal. That, I know in the south it's different and you call it dinner, and you have lunch as your midday meal, but that's our dinner. So we have dinner at lunch time and tea at dinner time, but do you have a cup of tea with your tea? I say yes, Laura is in my ear saying no, but, do you know what? I say yes. It's, it's a bone of contention in the, amongst the soft craft team as to whether you would have a cup of tea with your tea. I say yes. And also, what would you have if you were going to have your tea, a cup of tea with your tea? Is it specific to what you would have it with? Because you'd have it with a hot breakfast, wouldn't you? You'd have it with like a cooked... English breakfast or Scottish breakfast. I don't have sugar, thank you, Bernie. Um, I <laughs> just just milk. I'm sweet enough. She says no one. Just milk, normal milk, any milk. However, oh yes, yes. I love you, Bernie. So let's do a bit of embroidery. I'm going to check. Um, to. Oh, yes, Christy. Yes. Hi, Christy. Yes, you can become a member of Club Inspire if you are in the US. Yes, you can. And you get all of, all of the awesome benefits as well. So, not your thread. Not your thread. Should we have a little look there? Oh, look at that overhead. Nice. For once, my nails look quite good as well. Usually when I'm on, on Facebook Lives, I have really dreadful nails. So we are going to do a back stitch. So that's like a nice little um, outline stitch. So you take your thread, and I'm using two strands of this thread. You don't, you can go thicker. You can have three, three strands. Um, I like to make sure that mine lasts longer, so I go for two, and also it just makes it a little bit easier to sew. So you're going to take your, your needle and move it just a little bit along. You can Don't go too long with your stitch. If you go too long with your stitch, you are going to end up with a kind of not very straight, jaggedy looking lines. Um, I'm not the best at embroidery. I enjoy it, but I'm going to I'm going to admit I'm not the best. So I'm going to go. I don't know what's that. Just that that length, and then poke your needle through. But as you poke your needle through, just on the back, come through at about the same distance, and pull that through like so, and then. Take your needle back to where you went in 
in the first instance, poke it through, maybe thread out the way, and then come up again a little bit further along. So you're just using it, you're going about the same length with your stitch each time. And this is a, a nice stitch for doing, for getting outlines. It's like your drawing stitch. I'm just going to do that again. And I use my finger on, on the other side, so I use this finger just to feel for the needle as I'm coming through. So it doesn't, it does poke my finger a little bit. You can use a, you can use a thimble, but um, I just gently feel for the point of the needle. And you're not going through fast, so you, you're not really going to stab yourself. And then just move around like so. And for any kind of outline, this is just a really nice, simple, basic starter stitch. So I, I'm, I enjoy embroidery, but it's not like my, it's not my biggest skill. It's one of those things that I think you can, you know, you can sit and relax and do, watch a little bit of telly, well, listen to a bit of telly, you can't really watch it. Um, and it's, it's good for the car, not if you're driving. It's less good if you're driving. I wouldn't recommend that you do <laughs> that. You do that. But if you are fortunate enough to have somebody that will drive you, um, then this is great for a car journey, especially if you're on a long one. And it, you know, it's it's a good it's a good time of year to do something like this as well, isn't it? You know, especially for you American friends. It's coming up to Thanksgiving, so a lot of you are going to be in the car, you're going to be travelling about, you're going to see family in far-flung places, um, or even if they're just down the road. Just down the road for you guys is a little bit further than just down the road for us, because we're in such a tiny country. And obviously there's Christmas as well, Christmas is coming. How, how many of you are going to be trekking to the other side of the country or wherever to go and see your family? I actually stay at home and my mum and dad come to me. I've got them well trained. So I'm going to just go down here. So as you just move around, you just follow the line of the, the drawing and just keep poking your little needle through, make sure that you've got it exactly where you want. I'm going to change stitch in a sec, because I could literally just sit here all night and just stitch this, but um, I am going to change the stitch. So I'm going to take my thread out of there, and what one should we do next? Let's do... Let's do the Lazy Daisy. So we're going to do that in green. So that stitch was your back stitch that we just did. And now we're going to do Lazy Daisy. I'll get my thread off. So this is a... They're, not, they're really kind of soft colours in this, in this kit. They've all got different threads in. Um, so you could actually, if you've got all of them, you could kind of mix and match as well, because there's no, there's no hard and fast rules about, you know, what goes where. So again, forearm length, snip your threads. So this would be a nice kit to to do with with kids, because they're all really, you know, they're they're nice modern designs. We've got. Um, but the dream catcher as well and the bike the bike is probably it's probably the one that you can it's kind of a little bit it's not more difficult because they're all the same stitches but um a little bit more involved i'd say because you know, you've got a lot more satin stitch um which is a your 
your filling in stitch. I'm going to take two strands again, thread my needle. This is always the tricky bit because of my rubbish eyes. Lick your thread and oh, go on, in you go. Yes. Now, I don't know if this is true, um, but th this is something that I do because somebody told me. I think it, I think it was like one of my one of my nans told me, which means that if it was my nan that told me, then therefore it must be true. Um, but if when you take the thread off of a sp off of a spool of thread, um, the the direction that it goes in. Um, so if you if you are right-handed, you can use that top edge, the 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 bit that you've pulled. It off, this is making no sense. The the end that you pull off of the spool is the end that you would thread in. And if you were left-handed, you would use the other end, the cut end. I don't know if if that actually works or if it is utter nonsense, but um, that's what I do every time. So let's do Lazy Daisy. So we come up, you come up with the needle at point A. Now point A is at the bottom of your, of your thing. And then you loop it. So you've got a loop and you're gonna come back we come up at point A and then go back down at point B. So that's basically right next to point A. Like so. Pull the thread through, but leave it so you've got like a nice loop. And you're going to take your needle and poke it up at the top there, like that. And you're going to grab your loop. Take your needle through and then just on the other side of where you came up, you poke your needle back down and that gives you a nice little lazy daisy stitch which is like a little loop or a little leaf. And if you're doing quite a big one, like these are quite big, um, you can also just hold it in place at the side as well, if you want to. So just pop it in at the edge, and then that will just secure your secure your sides, so you've got like a nice tidy, nice tidy one. Go on that side as well. And like that. So let's do it again. Take your needle, poke it through, make a loop, and then go back in the basically pretty much ne right next to where you came out. Hold your loop like so. And then at the other end of it, the loopy end, take your needle, poke it through and catch your loop. With a little stitch. And then if you want to make it wider, then just add a little extra stitch at the sides. I like this one. So it's depending on what, um, what hand you sew with as well, it depends on kind of the, the way that your loop will sit. 
because it depends on where you put your, your stitch. Um, I'm left-handed, so this is going to look very awkward to you righties out there. But to all the lefties, then it will probably look perfectly normal. So that one, because it's quite a large one, I'm going to add a little stitch either side just to hold that in place to keep it poking out. And whilst we're on with the, with the green, we can also do like a nice little stitch for the, for the stem, can't we? What stitch shall we do for the stem? Ooh. Split stitch. Split stitch is another nice one. All right. And I don't want to show you the back because this is going to be a bit of a mess because I'm jumping around all over the place. Um, but let's do a split stitch. So, split stitch is much the same as the as the back stitch but you're going to take it a little bit further back so you are effectively splitting the first stitch so instead of it going in like a nice straight line of even stitches you are making it so it's kind of like a solid so it's almost like one solid stitch so we're going to poke the needle through make your first stitch and then your needle comes back up literally splitting that thread so you are splitting that first stitch about halfway down and then you pull your needle back up go back down through so you take it you're pulling your needle on this one you're pulling your needle all the way through each time whereas with back stitch you are just kind of rocking your needle backwards and forwards but with this one you're going to Split that stitch there, right in the middle. Pick it up, come back down. This is a nice one for a more solid, um, like a like a stem, solid line. Anything that's kind of you want a little bit more emphasis, I guess. And then just continue along. So that's another nice one that I suppose if you if you think of it as a pen so this is another kind of outline stitch so if you think of it as a pen then um, this would be like your sharpie and the back stitch would be more like a, a fine line fine line pen there you go like a split stitch. A little check of the comments there. Hi Sandy. Sandy is from North Carolina. What's the weather like there? It's absolutely freezing here. It's kind of, it turned, it's turned this week and it's now absolutely freezing cold. So that is your your split stitch. It's nice. I can hear Bernie. I can hear her. She's she's coming in. She's getting mic'd up. It's like a surprise guest. I had such a good time last night on the Monday Makers with with it being the soft craft special because um, everybody is down at Craft Ganza at Evesham. Um, or have been down at Craft Ganser in at Evesham, so it was really nice to like get just get us in for once, just us. None of the paper craft is taking over our stuff, just to be able to do some sewing. And we did Craft Wars, and Bernie won, of course. Bernie won. Bernie wins everything because Bernie's the best. Um, and we made Christmas wreaths. And instead of normally, whenever I watch Craft Wars, they, they, they look like they're going to kill each other. 
the soft crafts was very, very sedate and we were, we were very polite and it just looked like it was Katie and Bernie have a nice time doing some crafts. It's lovely. I'm hoping that maybe we can have another one soon. Oh, she's coming in. Bernie's coming. Yay. That was lovely. There you go. This is our, our little split stitch. There she is. She is. Oh, I can see her. I can see her lurking in the background. Right, so that's split stitch. <laughs> That was the light. That was the light falling over. That's because Bernie's come here. It's the it's the po it's the poltergeist. I've come to see ya. She's coming. Look, I'm here. I'm, I'm bringing. Can I bring a chair? Bringing a chair. I'm doing some sewing. Hi everyone. She's back. And you just can't stay away. How can nice you? am I to Katie? Look, cup of tea for oh, you. Yes. There you I go. I love you, Bernie. Oh yes. I'm come. I'm gonna come this side. Mm. I've come for a little chat. I've just been teaching next door. Did you have a good time? We did. We've had a fab time. You'll never guess what we made. Christmas wreaths. <laughs> <laughs> Who won? Well, everyone. <laughs> no, Anne, actually, because I thought we, I have big, massive bags of stuffing that I bring yeah. in because I wasn't sure how much stuffing would be needed. And Anne kept coming back for more stuffing. I said, Anne, what are you stuffing? It's, when we looked at it, it was bulging. <laughs> We thought it was going to burst, but it looked really fab. So I'll post a picture later because I've just took a picture of everyone with their mm. wreaths. But I thought it was quite, quite apt after our little yeah. session last night. We're yeah. still friends, aren't we? We're, we're still, still yeah. friends all the way we're through, aren't we? We're still friends. <laughs> we're, I know. Tony, do you want, do you want <laughs> these things? Do you want oh. these? Do you want me to put them on for you? So what are you up to? Right, I'm doing some sewing because um, I'm sat here. So I've got these threaded embroidery kits. You get all three. And they are just twelve ninety nine for all three. I'm sure. I'm showing well, you. What for, sure. yeah, for all them? For all three of them, you get everything you and need. This one, in this them. one you're doing now. That's the one I'm doing now. The little oh, kitty cat. Mom. Oh. Like this. I like them so you get everything. You get everything. In you get the everything. Kit. So you get your hoop. I brought Ooh. a hoop with me, but I didn't need to bring it because it was. Oh, so you get kit. the hoop in. You get the hoop in the kit. You get a needle in the kit. You get all of your threads, and you get all of these stitches that you need. Oh, that's, that's great, isn't it? If you haven't done the stitches before, it's telling you. Yeah, how yeah, it tells to do you. Each one in and, there. Uh, yeah, because I am, I'm not much of an embroiderer, but I think I'm doing all right. So you're doing very well. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, doing very well. well done, and how much? Twelve ninety nine for all three. Yeah, twelve ninety nine UK, sixteen ninety five in US dollars. So they are Fabulous. They're a bit of a bargain, aren't they? Just a bit. Mm -hmm. But yeah. you've got three Christmas presents there as well, haven't exactly, you? Exactly. Yeah. So that's yeah. absolutely perfect. Mm -hmm. You've got some fabric there, Kate. You mm -hmm. haven't seen that fabric before. No, I'm drinking new? your tea. Um, Is it you have your tea? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Bernie, take over. Um, <laughs> yes, this is Lewis and Irene Michaelmas. And there's just... Oh, it's... I'll show you what, which one I like. It reminds me of William Morris. Yes. It's got that William Morris. It has. Work, it? I'm going to move these out of the way. Don't because... Yeah, just them bob them over there. Um, but it's also got... And you can't see it very well on the on the camera. But oh wow! Can you see look at the, that. Can you see like the? I don't know if it's pearlescent oh, or metallic. Is, yeah, it has got a. Definite... It's got like a. It's it's not. It's metallic, but it's not like it's a. It's subtle. Yeah, it's, it's not, not like a garish face, is it? one. Yeah, is it? it's really pretty. Well, I like that. Yeah, I I think that one's my favourite. I have not seen these yet. I like this one as well. Mm. Well, I asked for them to be on the show because I really like them. <sighs> They remind me of some my dresses from when I was little girl. <laughs> yeah, I think I might have had a dress like that yeah, as well. Yeah, my mum made me dresses. But I like this one. This one's my favourite. That one you were looking at with the sparkly bits. Yeah. Lovely. Oh, no, we're in the blue. There's oh, loads, no, like there's the loads of sparkly. That is pretty. It's on... And there's little birds like, on there. I think it's on oh. almost all of them. I like it. It's really nice, isn't it? I like it. So how much is that? That is saving twenty percent, so it is six ninety nine for a half meter or nine ninety nine in US dollars. And I have been explaining that a half meter for our American friends is a 
half yard with some wiggle room. Yes. It's got room for mistakes. Yeah. That's what a half metre is. So it's just a little bit bigger. Yeah. It's not... It's not a couple um, of inches. Yeah, inch, three, couple of inch. about three inches, two or three inches. It's... Yeah, it's about two or three inches. Yeah. I usually go on about 39. If I'm doing yeah. a conversion yeah. and I'm looking at it, I'll go on about 39. So... But yeah, I do like that. Oh, I needed that. But I needed that tea. See, I was I just had it about half an hour ago. I thought, hmm. Oh, I bet she needs and tea. I bet she needs tea. Yeah. And I looked at the time and I thought, right, oh, I'm going on a little tea. mission just to come in and just see you for five minutes and see what nice. you've got. Well, got do you know what I haven't stuff. I haven't mentioned yet? Actually, I haven't mentioned the um, the this one. Is that the Gladstone bag? Yeah, one? it's the Gladstone bag with the um, car the carpet bag for the frame. I remember making one of these when we had when we brought them out the first time, the longer, slightly longer one. Mm. And these ones are so much easier to yeah. fit now as well. The new and improved. Um, and I made it in actually four leather, and it worked mm. a treat. Bet that I did nice. it in the mustard and the burgundy. So if ever you see them on the shores, yeah, that I That's remember you. making that one with a big popping lining. I like me yeah, lining I to like pop. a popping lining. But this one, I know Lizzie did the YouTube mm, video yeah, for yeah, it on did. how to do it. And I know when Lizzie brought this last, when it came to launch, she said it was so mm. easier. Because with the first one, you could do it. Now, you did it, but sometimes yeah. you might have needed pliers to hold it. With this one, it just goes straight in. Yeah. And this this handle goes inside a fabric tube and mm -hmm. so yes yeah, so it just threads yeah. over and you only open one end you can open one end and thread and just it all, thread it all through. The way through yeah oh, yeah and then so this is your pattern pack it comes with your obviously your hardware it comes with your pattern and your instructions but there are um there are also videos with our lizzie Alice. Do that. She's good, That's Alice. The, oh, she? she is good, Alice. She's good. We've got, she does we've good got her favourite on. We've got the snap fastener. <gasps> I've just been looking at them in the store, actually. She loves them. I was Alice. showing a lady how they worked. They're good, aren't they? Explain they? them. Oh, yeah. They are brilliant. So this she is the, anything. Um, <laughs> This is saving twenty percent. Seven ninety nine. Eight seventy six in US dollars um, for the So Country carpet bag frame and pattern pack. And we've also got the So Country fabrics. So let's grab these because you're not going to knock everything off. Are you? I am going to knock you everything off. Me. I'm going to stand up, but I've got, like, I've got, I've got my belt on, haven't I? So I Do you want me to get them? No, it's all right. I can they're get them. All right, you've got a utility stand belt up. on. Got my utility belt on with all my. Oh, you kind of say it's black. I know. It's I did black. that deliberately. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> so you had to reach for them. Right. I've been, I've been thinking today. I've been using my brain for once. You know, I was having a right laugh earlier at myself because I last night when we finished last night mm -hmm. I thought oh I, I did really well with looking like smiley and cheerful and like really having a big smile on my face we had a great I, sure well I did and I really enjoyed it and I got home and I was like oh I did, I did ever so well I was all happy and smiley and then I watched us back and I looked <laughs> miserable so <laughs> I did I looked miserable oh I wasn't miserable I had a lovely no, time we had a fab time Yes, see, look how small I am now. I'm bad. You're here. <laughs> so here we go. This is so country. I I really like this. It it feels so luxurious. It does, doesn't it? And I think that makes a difference. And yeah. I know when you're sewing yeah. decent fabric. I know when I first started out sewing, and I would buy any fabric because mm. oh, it's cheap. It's cheap. I'll get that. I'll get that. And then you start sewing with it, and you can feel the difference. Yeah, you can feel the if difference it, if it's. If you get a fabric that's not of a, high, a higher quality as this one, it feels yeah. quite crisp and yeah, rough. Yeah, it's got that, yeah. yeah. And you, ha you can feel it on your hands as yeah, well. You, you find you need more, yeah. use Whereas more hand cream lovely. because... But that is... But this is that's glorious. Fab, yeah, that's it a It's beautiful. Print. And it's a lovely quilting weight as well. Yeah. So it's ideal for your patchwork. I like this for fussy cutting. Oh, yeah. Ooh, and you can English get some paper really piece yeah. Ooh. Which, actually, <laughs> the English paper piece in dies, they will, they will, we had those on last night, so they will still be on. Oh, yeah, because they're now. on 48 hours, aren't they? They're on 48 hours, so if you like a bit of English paper uh -huh. piece in, um, go back and shop the Monday Makers, because we had some three for... Three for two. Three for two. Three for two on yeah. the English paper piece in dies, so you can go back and have a look at those. Yeah. So and we, you actually get two in each, you get you six do. for four, yeah. really. Yeah. Yeah, you uh, get two different well. shapes and, and actually two different shapes but four dies. Oh, of course, one for your paper, yeah. yeah. 
there you go. It's just, uh, we're ba basically <laughs> just giving them to you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so this is your rose bouquet. This one here is leaf sprigs in dark grey, which is yeah, just a really Lovely. useful one, isn't yeah. it? It's That'd be those, a lovely lining as well. It would be yeah. a lovely lining for a bag. Mm -hmm. um, and then we've got rose bouquet again, but in cream. That's a really nice, gorgeous, traditional. So it's a nice, rich cream as yeah. well. It's not yeah. a pale, like not an ivory. Because sometimes with cream, you, they can yeah. be different yeah. shades. But this of is it. almost like a buttermilk, isn't that, it? Oh yes, good we, description. When we fancy, when we fancy yeah. words. And then we've got leaf sprigs again, but in pink. And this is a really nice pink. It it's not an pink. insipid pink. You know, I I'm not a huge fan of pink. Um, I'm not. I wanted a pink dress when I was a little girl. I never got one, so I've gone off it <laughs> But this was what I would have wanted win. as a dress. <laughs> never got it. So now I'm like, mm, whatever, I like green. Wouldn't make lovely pyjama bottoms. But it would make lovely pyjama bottoms. Wouldn't pajama. it? In fact, it all would, wouldn't it? Yeah. These rose prints would be gorgeous. Lovely pyjamas. That would like that as a trim at the bottom. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, and a bit of lace on. Oh, like vintage. Yeah. Because it is, because they're very muted yeah. tones as well, aren't they? Right. Or if you can crochet. Do you know those little crochet yeah. trims that you can do where you use... I don't know how to pronounce that, it. I can yeah, spell that. it. P-I-C-O-T. Picot edge. P -pico or Pico edge. That, that edge. <laughs> Tell us how but you that pronounce be that because nice. I'm not sure. Or pillowcases with that as oh, an edge. Oh, yeah. Or your towels. Who is Edging it? on your towels. Oh. And your yes. flannels. Oh. Somebody oh. did a really nice quilt recently and it was in the group. And it was crocheted and then squares cut out from Builder Block. Oh, yes, Who now. Was it? was it Gita? I can't remember the lady's name, but I got tagged in it, and it was amazing. It was amazing. It, it was, was amazing. absolutely amazing. Yeah, she'd it's actually, the... she'd crocheted squares, hadn't she? Yeah. She'd, or did she have a crochet cut, blanket that she'd, she'd cut out? No, she'd cut out squares from Builder Block, patchwork squares, and then she'd, and then she'd like crocheted the opposite squares, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, like a checkerboard. So it was fab. Amazing. It was, yeah. So that was in our own, so it was Crafters Company, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. So that's. We'll we have we have loads of talented people in our group. Have, if you're not yeah. in that group, by the way, if you're watching on our main page, mm. do join yeah, do Soma's join Crafters us. Companion. You'll find us in there. Yeah, we lurk in, in there about. a lot, don't yeah, we? Do a yeah. lot of lurking. <laughs> <laughs> these are. <laughs> these are. Four pounds seventy-nine or three ninety-nine US dollars, saving twenty percent. Um, and these—that is that how? No, that must be for a half meter. What's this price for? Yeah, half meter. Yeah, half meter. Yeah, because I'm getting confused by the eight meter fabric eight meter bolt. Fabric bolt. Right. Yeah, but that's per half meter. But that's per half meter. But it meter. comes in. It comes so if you on order more the, than half you, meter, yeah. it's continuously yeah. cut because it's on the bolt. It's got a bit confused yes. There. It's late, get, yeah, it's it? getting it's late. late. I know I'm, I'm gonna head off. Old. I'm gonna head off now. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you with your cup of tea and Thanks. you guys look after her. She'll be fine. Yeah. And I'm going home now because I've been I've been, been working hard and you're on again. I tomorrow. need to go and feed the animals there's and some, there's some more bits for you over there that oh, I forgot is there to some give more? you earlier. Oh mm. there's a there's on that um there's a little bag and there's a magazine for you oh, to get. Thank you very much. I shall grab them. Yeah, grab them. So yeah, so nice to see you, everyone. Oh, it was, it was, it was Gita. Was it Gita? It was Gita. Oh, you watched yes, Gita? it was amazing. It was amazing. Can you make me one? It's Christmas. Christmas suit. <laughs> well so, done, Gita. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to head off. I'm going to leave you to it. All right, thank you. And I'll well, see thank you guys you tomorrow tea. night. You're welcome. You're very welcome, and I'll see you guys tomorrow night. I'm off now. I'll leave my chair. Okay. All I'm right. Disrupted well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'll chuck these on there. Yeah, they? Yeah. Well, well, I can use that chair. Time it's quite well. a use. You did, didn't you? <laughs> there you go. Right. So, see you later. Bye, see you later. Miss you. Miss you, Bernie. Come back. <sighs> right. So fabricates. We have. Yeah, that's yours, Bernie. Yeah, those. Yeah, they're yours. Um, we have the different kits. Now I'm gonna. I'm going to open these up because obviously you can see what it is, but what is inside it? I'm going to use the scissors again, which I should never use the fancy scissors that are for fabric to cut anything other than fabric. But, you know, I'm a rebel. 
So this is your Quilt As You Go fabric kit. This kit is your coasters. And what you get inside is, let's turn it around so I can lean on that. What you get inside is everything to make your kit. It's, it's like sewing by numbers. So you've got your printed wadding pieces. So you've even got what order to sew them in. So you start with number one, you sew on number two, you sew on number three, four, five, and so on. So you've got that for four coasters because you don't just want one, do you? You've got all of your instructions. There's so loads of pictures. So that makes it oh, up like that. Yeah, there we go. So that makes it all very, very easy. But this is you know, this is the even the best bit, I think. You've got your pre-printed fabric, and not only is it pre-printed, so you can see exactly what it is that you're doing it's also got the numbers on. So not only has it got the numbers on your wadding, it's got the numbers printed on the fabric itself. So you just cut it out with your scissors that are 25% off. Um, and you can just cut it out and sew it on. And it is quilt as you go. So there's no quilting afterwards. You're just sewing. You, you can, if you don't have a sewing machine, then you could you could actually sew these by hand because they're only small. So as long as you just you know do a do quite a tight stitch, um, a nice running stitch, then you could make these a really really good stocking fi filler. They you get all three kits for twenty four pounds or thirty four dollars, um, saving forty five percent. So they are really good value and they're they're nice and simple. They're good beginner projects. So we'll have a look at that one, but let's get the others out because. They're all different. Bob you away. There you go. Don't fall on the... No, you're going to fall on the floor. So this is your mug rug. And a mug rug is like a coaster, but it's a bit bigger. And it's a bit bigger because obviously what you want is you want a cup of tea, but you also want to have your biscuits. Because I love Bernie, but she didn't bring me any biscuits, did she? which is just shocking behaviour. <laughs> Sorry, Bernie, I don't mean that. Oh, I'll have a cup of tea. Um, so this is your quilt as you go mug rug. So again, same as before, we've got all of you laid out there. You've got where you need to sew it. Um, it's a nice thick, it's kind of like a, um, like a felt wadding, which is great for, for coasters and mug rugs. So normal, like a normal quilt wadding isn't brilliant for, for anything like a, a, a coaster or a, um, anything that you're going to put heat on. You want like a, an insulating, an insulating one because it's got to protect your table. Um, and there we go. So again, all pre-printed. You've got all of your bits, your strips, and it tells you exactly what everything is. So it's numbered, but it also tells you that that's like your, let's move that there. That's your center square. It tells you that that's your strips. It tells you that that's your backing and that's your corner triangle. So if you are an absolute beginner, or if you know an absolute beginner who hasn't sewn anything before, but would really like to try, or maybe you've got a child or you've got one of your grandkids, and they'd really like to try, then these are perfect projects for that. And you get three of them for £24. So, you know, if you've got three kids or um, three friends that really don't like to try something, then this is a good, it's a good start because you finish with an actual project. So you don't just learn a technique and then you've got a quilt block, but you don't actually have anything kind of tangible and finished to, to play with. With this, you've got your finished project and you can do it by hand. You don't need to do it by, by machine. It just makes it easier because obviously, you know, obviously it's much easier to machine stitch than it is 
to hand stitch and quicker. So we've also got some, what are these? Oh, I do love these. These are probably some of my favorite ever, ever products um, that, we, that we've ever made. The folding rulers um, and the sew retro scissors, the sew retro fabric scissors. Um, these are a big, sturdy, strong pair of scissors and they are 25% off of those. And they're kind of rainbow, like a metallic rainbow. Then we have 20%, save 20% on the 12 and a half inch folding ruler. Now this ruler has been designed to cut your half square triangles and your um, half square triangles, your quarter square triangles perfectly. It is fantastic. It's, a, it's really easy to use. You get full instructions on the packaging. Um, and it's great. It, it, it's just such a nice, nice ruler and it folds which it makes it easier to store but also it just folds you can make a house out of it or for a little mouse and then the best the best ruler in the world ever hands down is is this little baby and there's also 20 percent off this one so this is the six by 24 inch folding ruler there there is, oh, look at that, it folds, it folds. I know that it seems like it's such a simple thing that why am I getting so excited about a ruler that folds? But I cannot tell you how many long rulers, the 24 inch long rulers that I have broken in my time because I've taken them to classes, I've put them in the back of the car, I've closed the boot and then um, they've snapped or um, someone stood on them, or I've stood on them, and they're, you know, th these, these things aren't, you know, these things aren't necessarily cheap, are they? You know, a ruler is, a ruler is a, is a purchase that you don't want to be making every week, but this, you save 20%, so it is the bargain price of 19.99, which is a great price, isn't it? For a, for a big ruler. And it folds down to a square. It's so good, so it's like pocket size. You can just put it in your bag and you can go. It, I do get a little bit excited about that. I'm sorry. We also have the folding mats, which I've got tucked away down here. So we've got, let's grab it without smashing the place up. So the We've got the A2. Um, no, there we go. There we go. There we go. We've got the A2 folding cutting mat. Um, now this is also saving 20%. So that is now 23.99 or 23.96 in US dollars. You need to use the code to get these. So it's TH1505. TH1505. The um, you know, you find that online and also we've got the A1 one, which is the big daddy. Oh, I can't reach you. I can reach you. Yes. Got you. So this, oh, this one has, um, has had an accident. It's huge. It's a little bit mucky because I'm going to blame probably Craig because he's not here so it's probably Craig so this one you could take down the beach in the summer and you could use it as a windbreaker couldn't you it's huge if you need some fencing in your garden just put that up on the side Laura's, Laura that's really mean Laura just says she's going to use it on her desk when she doesn't want to see Matt that's so mean She's cruel. I would as well, to be honest. <laughs> so that is also saving 20%. Um, that was 49.99 and that is now 39.99 in UK money or 43.96 in US dollars. I am reading that on the monitor and I am really struggling because it's quite small and my eyes are 
terrible. <sighs> so we also have, we had this on yesterday um, and we've got it on again today because it is great and it is so inspired. So I showed you a little bit yesterday, but I'm gonna show you a little bit more today. Let's open it up. So <laughs> you've got a fat quarter of rose bouquet in dark grey, which is the same fabrics that we've got um, on offer as well on the bolt, so the half meter. So you get that single fat quarter inside, so inspired. Best of all, you get a cut out and keep picture of our Bernie. You also get a ruler, folding ruler. So just like the big one, the 12 and a half inch ruler, you get this smaller version, the six inch one. This one make, does exactly the same thing. You, are, you can make half square triangles, quarter square triangles, and also obviously you can cut strips. So it's great, it's great. It's a really lovely little ruler and it is a little bit smaller. So you can make smaller sizes, but also it's more portable. And a book. Let's have a little, little flick through the book. So this is five stunning patchwork projects using your six and a half inch folding ruler. They've got some great things in here. A lovely little picture and that. You can cut out and keep that as well. Put that with your picture of Bernie next to your bed. So you've got full instructions on how to use your ruler um, and some of the sizes that you can make depending on what, you, what you're cutting. So you can cut squares, rectangles, um, triangles, half square triangles and quarter square triangles. And you just use it in different ways to cut the different triangles out. It's, it's super. And then there's all of the different ways to do, that you can sew them together. This is a nice little, that's a nice little project, isn't it? Now this was by Catherine Pounder, who's on our design team. And that is, um, you know, a lovely chessboard. I showed you the other ones last night. There's also, in case you haven't seen it yet and you are interested in learning a little bit more about our, where have, you, where have you gone? Our Stitch Pro. So it introduces our Stitch Pro machine. If you haven't tried it, if you haven't had a look at that yet, I used the Stitch Pro for the first time um, one day last week. I hadn't used it before. I've used the Stitch before and um, and that's a, that was a great little machine. I enjoyed using that one. Stitch Pro, oh my gosh. It was amazing. It's <clears throat> such a lovely, easy to use machine and it just sounds like a dream. And it's so quiet, couldn't believe it. You couldn't even hear it. So this is our magazine. Have a little look at the, oh. Oh, who are you? you so three different ideas for how to use your fat quarters these are nice aren't they i like that little hot water bottle cover it's got a makeup bag and a headband really fab product oh, who is this poppy oh, i don't know who that is but i really i really need this baby to come to the office a little bit we need an office dog um I like that. I'm just gonna have a little read of that quickly. So that that's great. It's a so we've got sew and tell. Sew and tell is always good fun, isn't it? Um, <clears throat> table runner, we've got so many different projects in here. Uh, the Christmas tree quilt, that's fantastic. Bags, got all your full size templates in there, got apron. There's just so there's so much. The one thing that about So Inspired over and above um, other magazines that you may buy or see is how many projects are in this magazine. It is packed full of projects. There's, there's like all killer, no filler. That's what it is every single time. And honestly, this issue is out of this world good. Just brilliant. Right, let's have a little look at the at the Facebook, let's see if my see if my phone is working properly. Um, Sandy says hello to Bernie. 
I'm going to say hello back from Bernie. She's gone now, but I can speak for her, I feel. Um, she, she's great. What other... Have we got any um, little questions? Um, hi, Ariane. And hi, Carrie. Oh, Carrie's coming from... She's from Malta. Lovely. Oh, the soft craft craft yours. Yes. That was good fun, wasn't it, yesterday? But so very civilised. Because we are good we are good civilised people. We are um we are lovely like that. Right, so yep, yeah, that's it I think with with questions. So let's have another little run through of everything that we've got on tonight. Now everything obviously you can shop right now straight from the Facebook page but you can also go to the website and then watch through as well. So we've got Lewis and Irene, Michael Miss Fabric, um, five different designs in um, just really really good size prints as well. £5.50 or $7.50 saving 20%. We also have the Threaded Snap Fastener Toolkit, everything that you need to get started, and that is half price. It is such a good saving, $14.99, $19.99 in US dollars. We have the three Quilt As You Go fabric kits, so Mug Cozy, Coasters, and the set of four um, coasters, and also the Mug Rug, which is your bigger coaster with room for your biscuits. £24, $34, saving 45%. The Gemini Multimedia Bag Making Dies Tab and Tag Sets, which is a tongue twister. So you've got six different sets, all different bags, um, and then the tab and the tag sets as well. Buy one, get one free, $24.99, $34.95 US dollars. Now those bags, like I said before, the flaps and the bodies of the bags are all interchangeable. We've also got, well, we haven't got a still of it, but the um, strap webbing. So they are buy one, get one free as well. And they're great to go alongside the bag making die. So you can add like a little strap um, and you know, make it so that you can actually carry it and not use your bag, lose your bag like I do with my bags, unless they're attached to me. So threaders embroidery kits, but these are these are my pick, I think, of the day. The three embroidery kits, Vintage Trail, um, Dreamcatcher, and The Cat. These are so cute. They're fantastic, and they're really, really simple. They're so easy to use, so, it's just so cute. Um, you get the full set of three. We've got So Inspired, issue 18, for 9.99, 14.95. And then, obviously, we've got the um, folding cutting mats and the Fold and rulers at 20% off and so retro shiny shiny rainbow scissors these are another really good Christmas present actually save 25% you know if you've got you know if if you've got a friend that, that or yourself let's face it because um, I I like me best you yep yeah, lefties can use them I'm a lefty but I cut with my right hand which is odd, isn't it? But they save 25% on those. They are great. They're such a, and they come in, they come in a nice box. So let's get the box out. They come in a nice box so you can keep them. Bernie tells me off if I don't keep them in the box because she's bossy like that. Um, so you can keep them safe so they don't get scratched. And they're also, that makes them a lot easier for wrapping up if you are going to give them as a gift or just to yourself, wrap them up for yourself. Nothing, there's no reason why you can't do that. So they were $14.99 or $19.95 in US dollars. They are £11.25 or um, $14.96 in US dollars. So that's a bargain in there. Well, you're not going to get a fancy pair of scissors for under 12 quid anywhere. Get those. So tomorrow we have Craig. Craig's back. Craig. Has, Craig has been so busy, I don't know how he's keeping awake. Craig will be on the Red Bull tomorrow, no doubt. He is on Creative Cravings tomorrow, and um, Bernie's back as well. 
Bernie is also back. Um, so she's got loads of fantastic offers. Craig's got great stuff. Yes, there is a little bit of fun going on tomorrow with <laughs> Bernie and Craig learning <laughs> learning each other's skills, which is just, um, I can't wait for that. I'm going to watch that and laugh along because Craig has been up for this for, well, since he started. He has been, he's been desperate to, uh, to have a go on the soft craft team. So he's learning, I'm not sure what he's learning tomorrow. I think it might be, I think it might be stencils and glitter pastes. Yeah, so that's going to be, that's going to be messy. Bernie doesn't do messy craft either. Bernie is a perfectionist and she's very, very, very tidy. So it's, I'm going to, I'm going to look forward to seeing how stressed out she looks. So that is it from me today. I, I think that I've looked, I think I've done smiling. I think I've done quite well with my smiling. Yay! Because um, I do enjoy it. I just look terrified most of the time, but you know, but I do enjoy it. <laughs> so I will see you when I get let out of the office next time, whenever that is, when everyone else, uh, when everyone else is busy and I'm let back on here. Doesn't happen very often because I don't look happy enough. Um, but it's been lovely. I've had a lovely couple of days. Um, don't forget everything that you so tonight is online for 48 hours. You've also still got all of the offers from yesterday. So get on, so apart from the 24 hour deal, everything from yesterday is still on online as well. So go on, grab them. Um, I don't know if there's any more of those goodie bags left, but they were amazing savings. So if there are, grab them because they had loads, loads of really, really good stuff in for next to nothing. Um, so that's it. That's it from me. I'm out. I'm going to go home now and I will see you again next time. Thanks ever so much for watching. And I'm going to catch up with your comments um, in a little while when I get home with another cup of tea. <laughs> okay.